Hey Don, sort of the late reply. It took us a wee bit of time to get the vehicle into, into inventory here, so figured I'd do you one better than the, than the photos and I'd send you a quick video. So this is a 2006 750i. Um, it was sold locally here in Regina. And 2006 is kind of a, a crucial year for the 7 Series in this body style. This, uh, this generation ran from 2002 to 2008. And in 06 they made some changes. Uh, the, the hood was actually lengthened. So the, um, the actual car, you can't see very much of the window wipers from the front. The uh, kidney grills were widened from the front end and they were kind of squished so it gives the impression of a wider vehicle. Um, after that the headlights were updated as well. You can see those glowing uh, corona rings or, or angel halos is I guess what they're called. And uh, it also has raised badging on the back. Powertrain changes, a little bit smoother suspension. Um, biggest thing is the engine. Went from a 4.4 liter in the previous generation to this here which is a, a, a 4.8 liter with 360 horsepower and 360 pound-foot of torque. So it's a very quick vehicle. And uh, 7 Series are, are pretty unique in its size. I mean, you know driving the 01, um, you know, the LS through Lexus or the, the Audis or, or anything else through Acura and that, I mean, it's pretty easy for anybody to build a, a long luxury touring sedan. But to actually build one that can still perform and handle is difficult. That uh, to, to find a contrast of, uh, of suspension that still allows you that soft, quiet ride, but also gives you the firmer suspension for the handling with no body roll. So, and that's what you'll find consistent in this. BMW has always been about two parts performance to one part luxury. The, uh, the car also has an executive package, which is uh, easily identifiable on the 7 Series by the first thing, the 19-inch wheels. So it's got the, uh, those deep dish wheels. They are a, quite a nice uh, pattern. And from the back, uh, or from the rear angle, it gives you quite a wide profile. Um, also updates on the 07s, or the 06s, they added a chrome badging right there to all the door handles, chrome window trim, which on the black exterior really pops out on this car. And also the taillights were integrated onto the trunk lid. So it gives you the impression of uh, the taillights being wrapped right into the car. And also um, a little bit of the, the criticism on the New Body Style 7 Series was that the trunk wasn't well integrated into the vehicle. Whereas now it looks much more, much more form fitted and, and integrated in. Other executive package features, uh, the vehicle comes along with the power tailgate, opens right up. And you do have a ski bag in the center the way the car was ordered, although it's not really stuffed in right now. You can hear that beeping, which is the park distance uh, control right there. You can see those sensors along the board giving you the, the distance and to close down that trunk. Just pop the putt here again. It'll fold right down. Great for loading in golf clubs when your hands are full. <laughs> the uh, doors are all soft close, so when they open and when they close again, so they suck themselves right back in again so that there's no such thing as a, a door ajar and uh, sun shades. Power folding on each side, from that side, as well as from the back side here. You've also got a, a rear folding sun shade through the back window. So if you can see there it's up right now, just tap the button and it folds right down again. And you can truck that back up. Seats are really bolstered and, and fitting in place. It is a five passenger car, so that seat can fold forward in that center console. You got heated seats in the rear. Wells in the back there, you have your own climate controls and lighter outlets. So the executive package also comes along with a 22-way power adjustable seat. All operated there. It's all memory coated, one and two. And it is uh, ventilated with the Nazca leather interior, which you can see the leather is very perforated there. It's a little bit cooler for the, uh, for the summertime. Heated seats and driver's side has massaging seat. Um, has power length extension in the front, has the venting halfway up, power adjustable headrest, you have the wraparounds on the side here. Not so much for the driver, but the passenger can uh, enjoy a nice sleep on the way home, which is good for the, for the headrest. Of course, all the standard features like your heated steering wheel and power telescopic steering, all operated here. O6s came along with a three-spoke steering wheel, whereas before it was a four-spoke. And you have paddle shifters on the front of the steering wheel so you can operate your gears up and down. Let's look at the door panel. Coloring on this one is black on black. Uh, it's black sapphire metallic. 
and it's the uh, Nazca leather interior. So there's a look around the interior there. Navigation and, and all the extras are all part of that iDrive. So you can gas it up. Right there, 32,000 kilometers. Pretty good for the year 06 to get back as an end eternal lease. So not a lot of these are sold locally, so it's nice getting one back. We know the servicing on the car, and we've done it all since new. There's look at your iDrive navigation on the right hand side. Entertainment options, it's got Bluetooth cell phone connection, Bluetooth keys, even for, for dialing numbers and that. Press the button, you can dial the number you wish. Digital dual zone climate controls, that's consistent on most 7 series. What isn't though is dual zone blower motors. So you have actually, you can control the, the air ventilation separately between passenger and driver side. You have knee support airbags down below on each side, as well as driver side and passenger side airbags, so that's four. Head support A-pillar airbags, which is six. Side airbags out of the uh, doors there, which is eight. And then if you can see in the back corner there, a little symbol there, and you also have rear C-pillar airbags. So, uh, yeah, 10-point airbags on the car, pretty good. The way that these keys work, you can see there, unlock at the top, lock, trunk release, and then a panic button at the bottom. But because these keys are all Bluetooth and wireless, I can simply just come up to the car, press on the handle, the door is locked right there. If I go to get into the vehicle, I can put my hand on the, on the door handle and just grab it, pull like this and it opens right up. So again, to lock it, just close the door, press the door handle, door locks, and I can walk right away the handle open up so pretty slick system you don't have to have your hands uh, busy with the keys or anything yeah so like I said in the uh, in the email I didn't think I'd be doing my job to the fullest unless I had a uh, the odd time giving you an email or a bit of a teaser so I'm not sure if you're in the market for looking for a new vehicle but uh, if you were looking at upgrading your 7 Series, this would be a very uh, a very nice example. It's a locally owned, 32K, serviced here from new. No uh, derogatory history for accidents or anything else. And nice packaging. And although the black is uh, does come with the maintenance of keeping it clean, looking at a car like this, it, uh, it sure shows well. All the chrome detailing is really accented on that black sapphire metallic. So uh, I've been looking at the, the video here for just over eight minutes, so if you want to come down for a test drive at any time, give me a ring.